Hey guys, this is Fish and Frenchy from upstate New York. This is my first uh, YouTube vid. I'm starting my own channel. Um, Tackle Junkie 81 kind of talked me into it, and I think it'll be pretty fun to uh, share all my tips and tricks. I'm an avid fisherman, and I'm a big tackle junkie. I got a lot of good baits, got a lot of tips and tricks. I'm kind of a versatile fisherman. I go from deep clear lakes to weedy shallow lakes. But here's an idea of what I have for tackle. I'll give you a, a rundown, and if you like to see it all broke down and and share with some of my tips and stuff, uh, subscribe to me. Here's all my paint, powder coat. Um, for I'd make all my own jigs, um, swim jigs, spinner bait, stuff like that. I still buy some here and there, but I'm I'm real big on like finesse um, jigs, so I make them myself. And there's my fluid bed, my toaster oven, my pot, and stuff like that is out in the garage. I don't bring that inside but I'll do some vids of how, how I make them how I hand time how I paint them to sh share with all you guys there's all my swim baits I'm really big on them in the spring when they first come up to spawn I caught some really big um, you know northern New York uh, largemouth I think my personal best is about eight and a half pounds that's a pretty good fish for up here and I just caught my uh, personal best uh, smallmouth this year with our team's JP Hammershad. So that was a six and a half pound smallmouth. Here's some uh, my Strike King Rage stuff and my Jean LaRue. And down the bottom, I don't know if you can really see because this I'm doing everything on my phone. I plan on getting a better camera. Um, I want to do some on the water stuff. But that's all my uh, Yamamoto stuff. And the very, very bottom, that's all my Power Team Lure stuff. I'm really big on them. I, like I said, I caught some huge sacks of fish this year with them, including a 28-pound smallmouth sack earlier this spring, drop shotting, hammer shad in about 30 foot of water. And here's some of my punch baits and craws and stuff like that. I don't do too much of this, but I do like to change it up from time. I uh, I'm mainly a deep water. Clear lake guy, kind of guy, but I do have some shallow weedy lakes, so I kind of do like to change it up a little bit. And so there's all my craws, punching, creature bait, stuff like that, some extra stuff. Now here, you can't really see it all that well, but these are all completely full of plastic. Shaky worms, tubes, more swim baits, jig trailers, 10-inch uh, worms, stuff like that. And these are all my jig skirts for like spinner baits and all that stuff, all my tabs. Up here we have oh just a couple extra reels. Um all my dyes, scents, line conditioner, stuff like that. There's a tackle warehouse order I just received last night. I got another one coming in tonight. I, I don't know if I'm gonna combine them yet or do separate vids, but um We'll see. Then here's all my hard baits uh, from crank baits, jerk baits, top waters, um, my springtime baits, frogs. Up on top, I got some jigs and some robo worms, stuff like that. And over here, we have all my uh, this is all my terminal stuff for jig making. All my extra hooks for all my molds. Um, I got them all labeled. I try to stay as organized as I can because I mean, I have a lot of stuff, so I kind of get an idea of what I have. This is all my weed guards, stuff like that. And down at the bottom, I keep all my extra stuff, like my shaky heads, um, my tube hooks. I mean, big time smallmouth fishermen, so tubes are pretty critical up here. Stuff like that. There's some of my rods. I'm missing about seven. My wife took off on my vehicle this morning, and about five of my rods are out in, in there. I forgot to get them out this morning. Then I got a couple back from um, getting warranty work done right now. So I should get that back. I got a couple on the ceiling, 7-Elevens, that I can't get. You know, stand them up. Here's a couple bolt bags that I use just for plastics, like tube shaky, stuff like that. So, you know. Down the bottom of them, we got some, all my molds. From football heads, shaky heads, tubes, two different types of tubes. Round jigs for grubs, stuff like that. Here's like my go-to box to replenify my replenify my boat box. This is where I keep most of my plastic that I use a lot of. And here's another one. 
Now here's my bolt box. You can't really see this this well. This is where I keep this. I got a only I only have a 16 foot John bolt. A lot of our lakes up here are only 9.9 .9 horsepower limits, so there's no sense of having me like having a fifty thousand dollar bolt. There's there's you can't really use it that much. So I'm more of a small lake kind of guy, but. But that's my bolt box where I just I I know where I'm going. I put in what I use and kind of t you know take in and take out. Oh, there's some extra plastic. There's some Roblos. I really love my Robo worms. Um, there's kind of like a drop shot type uh, minnow type box. Down at the very bottom is kind of a a bed fishing box. Just kind of white stuff, which I don't do too much of that. They they kind of closed that down for us up here with a loss. So here's like uh, just extra terminal stuff that I've uh, just when I buy extra, I just throw it in there. Then I know when I'm getting low. Oh, uh, buzz baits. I got some nighttime spinner baits. I do a little bit of that, but not too much. Guy down in Virginia got me into that, and I kind of I like it, but it's it's hard to do up here. Too many laws. Here's some spinner baits. This is like all my terminal tackle. This is my go-to box. Kind of stole this idea from, well, Tackle Junkie kind of got an idea of this. And this is kind of Aaron Martin's idea. Those are all like rebar hooks, stuff like that. This this is the best way I've ever seen to organize. Yeah, sorry about the blood on the box. I got into the small mouse pretty good, pretty good the other day, and they kind of bleed pretty good. There's all my power team stuff. All my like extra power team. These are all my bolt boxes for power team. Here I got some winter stuff like hair jigs, grub heads, football heads, stuff like that. This is just like a go-to box. And that's about it. Oh, here's a, a drawer for like with bags and Porks that I use. I use quite a bit of pork in the spring and line. Um, I'm not very happy with sunline this year. I'm going to change it up to Seeger next year. Um, I don't know if they changed their line this year or what. It's it's not as good as what it used to be. But well, thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see my tackle all broke down, how I make my own jigs and stuff like that, and some tips and tricks and some unboxing, because I get tackle warehouse orders probably once a week. I order non-stop to replenify. I don't like running out of stuff. So, uh, subscribe to me. Thanks for watching, guys.